Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balcom. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint lenses. So the first colour we're using on this is Citadel Ironman Blue. You're just going to give both of the lenses a nice smooth coat of that. So you put it on and it goes a little bit streaky or anything like that then. Just give it another coat so you've got that nice smooth colour. This is going on to Citadel Lead Belcher. I've just sprayed all the night frames with. With the initial blue on, we're now going to give them both a coat of Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade. Just want to put enough of this that it darkens around the edges. So you get kind of that almost like a natural shadow around the edge of each lens. I'm going to start adding some Ironman Blue. So when we're adding this, you want to be doing this on kind of the bottom left hand half say and you want to do that like a crescent so that rather than it being straight line across the lens it curves around from kind of just off center down to the bottom right it's going to be the area that we're going to highlight initially the reason we don't do a full lens of this color straight away so we're going to be using a little bit more Drachenhof Night Shade surely to do the top right of both lenses just to put the shade back on there or to darken up that shade I should say. So again if you're putting the Ironman Blue on and it doesn't give you a smooth coat just go back and give that another little coat over the top of where you've just done making sure that you're leaving that top right area as Ironman Blue with shaded on top. Next up, we are going to add a little bit of Vallejo White to the Ironman Blue. I'm just going to highlight that bottom left area. Now the area we're highlighting is probably about three quarters of the size of what you've just put on. And you want to leave the previous layer showing down the right hand side and a little tiny bit along the left hand side if you can. It doesn't really matter too much if you do this. Highlight right to the left hand side and don't leave any of the previous layer there. As long as you're leaving the Ironman blue to the top right on that curved edge, that should be fine. Like so. I'm going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. We're just going to do exactly the same. We're going to be leaving the previous mix showing on the top right of the little crescent that we're painting on there I'm using an army painter wargamer character brush here because I find it's got a really good point on it it's handy for doing little bits like this good thing about doing this is if you do get some of the lighter colour like I do on this into the shaded area on the edge it's really really easy to correct so you can just get a little bit of that dragon off my shade shade and put that around the edge again and that will completely smooth that off again we're adding some white to the previous mix I'm just going to do exactly the same thing just with another smaller crescent what you're doing here is just building up the light so it does give you that nice dark to light crescent. And when we add the final layer of just pure white, you'll have a really nice looking lens. I suppose you could, if you wanted to, do a tiny little bit of this kind of highlighting where you're going to put the white spots in the top right corner as well, but I never really bother with that. I just do the white spots. I think it looks nice with the kind of crescent going light to dark as it goes up to the top right and then just those final little spot 
or spots of light in the top right hand corner and it does set it off quite nicely. I'm just using a tiny little bit of Citadel Araman Blue using this on the top right of the area that we've been highlighting it's actually bottom left here because we've got him upside down you're just touching up the initial layer of Araman Blue that we did when we started the highlights like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Jack and Half Nightshade and all we're doing here is getting a little bit on the brush and then you're blobbing that into the top right hand corner to darken that down a little bit more as you can see when you start doing this it does give a very kind of almost gemstone or lensy reflection look the lensy reflection look of course being a technical term like so okay so now we're just going to be using some pure Vallejo white and what we're doing here is we're going to do the final highlight on the bottom left hand side you're just doing a tiny thin line and you want to be doing this thin line like so that just gives that final highlight to the lenses So just speeding this up a little bit because it's basically just me going over the same line just to get it to stand out a little bit more. And so once we've done those bottom left hand lines we're going to do two tiny little dots in the top right of each lens. So once you've got these first two dots in the position that you want them you then want to angle the lens so that those dots are at the top on the one that you've done. And then you know that the dots for the second lens will be at the top of that as well. Bit of a cut in the film there because I did make a mess of the ones on the right hand lens the first time. Now if you look at these they do look like they are a bit stuck together, like one big blob rather than two smaller ones. So we're just going to use a tiny little bit of Drachenhof Nightshade again. I'm going to use this to correct those little areas so you can put a little bit of this either side of it. And if you get a little bit too much on there, you can just use the tip of the brush to stroke that away. Like so. Now you're just going to carefully add a little line of Drachenhof Nightshade between the two spots. You can also add a little bit of Drachenhof Nightshade towards the edge of the lens as well, or to the front of those spots, just to shrink them down a tiny little bit. like so and that is the finished lenses thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below thanks very much if you like the video and you enjoy the channel and you'd like to support us our patreon and coffee pages are linked below thanks very much